I just basically wanted to get back into the air so I could film. No, I don't. Um, so not only I could make sure that I had at least one December flight. Yeah. But also to make sure that I've got one that I can put out for Christmas. So this will be the Christmas um, video. My name is Tim Palmer. I fly a Jodel DR1050 out of this farm strip in East Anglia. Because this is what I'm assuming is going to be last, my last video before Christmas. I know I've got the silly hats in the back, but it might be too damn cold to change them <laughs> because it really is cold out there. When I was driving over today, minus 3.5. That sounds about right. Yeah. Rich cabin heat will leave. Cold for the moment, but it's there. Fuel pump is on. I'm on the front tank. I'm full in the front. Controls and everything's working the way that it should do. I will give it another burst. Not there because it's well and truly dropped there now. Uh, Roy's hangar is looking extremely wintry there. not come out yet, so a second or two. Okay. Everything all right with you? As far as I know. Good. Mailand traffic, go for LV Yankee. Echo Hotel is rolling, Mailand traffic. And no trees in sight. Yeah, no trees around anywhere. Well, apart from those ones at the end. Yeah. Yes. A very nice area. It Interesting that where you've got hedge lines, you've got the frost. Yeah. Still there. It always feels so smooth when it's like this, doesn't it? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, that's what Matt said earlier on this morning. He said, cold but very, very smooth. Hopefully that underwing camera will pick up this bit of frost. I know I've got the air conditioning on to help clear it, but good job I've got my hat on. Look at that inversion. Where, oh, yeah, 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 I'll head down. I did think I would head off in this direction, bearing in mind what Sky Demon was saying about the build up. And it certainly looks like an interesting bout of weather coming through. Oh, there. I was looking at that when we as, as we took off. Yeah, and that big one in front of us looks like it's coming straight at us. We, uh, we were down the coast the other day and uh, that was a bit strange. Yeah. Um, yeah, you, you, the, you, you just couldn't see. It was so sunny. It was, it, it was, wow, it, it, amazing. It, I've never seen anything like it. Everything was so clear. There was not a tiny yeah. uh, little. Uh, well, I drove, uh, drove past the seafront. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Might have been Friday afternoon. Um, and you could actually see the second and third bank of wind farms, which you can't always do. That is definitely an interesting set of weather.
As I was saying, it was minus three when I started the car up today. Yeah, and, we're, and we're told that uh, we can expect a minus nine night, can't we? Either tonight or tomorrow night. I was sort of half looking out for Chris, but I think he probably... He, he said oh, he was going to go for a, a bimble, but I think yeah, probably... Yeah, he always goes down that side of things. Well, around the coast. Yeah. There's a couple of quite big cells in that lot, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, they're getting smaller lot. Yeah. Ba barely there. Yeah. Small one there, medium there, big one there. That's oh. still like a hill, isn't it? Yeah, I'll aim straight for it. Hang on. Look at that. Have a look on your wing. No, your wing doesn't look the same as mine. Got those little s streams where I think, you know, I said I thought it started to freeze. Yeah. I think it's sort of yeah. melted I and see. run back there. Yeah, I can see. The interesting thing is, I wonder where that weather is in terms of it looks as if it's over Felixstowe, but it could be further away, you know what I mean? Yeah. I suppose to some extent, if it is feeling so, we've got to be careful. <laughs> I um, I went over that with that estuary for a, a walk. Yeah. On there. Um, either yesterday or the day before. From where the horse is at Andrews, you get quite a good view of the container ships going out. All right. And there was a whacking great one went out on Thursday. If you look up over the cranes, yeah. go to the left, yeah. and it's as though there's a few balloons yeah, yeah, gone. No. You see what I mean? Yeah, you've it, got... It's, it's on the water. Yeah, yeah. I've got one dot, and then yeah. a little while away I've got two. Yeah. Yeah. Now I can see them. Actually, what Sky Demon was showing probably wasn't that cloud, but if you look on that wingtip, it's all mist. Yeah. So yeah, you, you don't want to be too far from home. It's, that's all fog, isn't it? Yeah, and it's moving. When yeah. we, when we uh, I looked at it when, when we were back there, you know, um, I wouldn't... Uh, we're not hanging around. No, because if you turn... I don't know what it is on this side, but it's coming in up behind us. Well, if you look, if you do a, a flight round that way, and then look back behind you, it is coming in behind us. Yes. Yeah. It's not. It's not clanging in that bad. Not, not as bad as it is there. But you, when you get to, when you get horizon like that, you think, where the hell am I? Is it? Um, How's that going to go? Yeah. Where's where's? Oh, no, um, when we go in, have we got to get under it to get round to get? Yeah. I mean, that's the other thing we've got to be careful of is, if you leave it too late, you're landing into the glare. Yeah. I just basically wanted to get back into the air so I could film. No, I don't. Um, so not only I could make sure that I had at least one December flight. Yeah. But also to make sure that I've got one that I can put out for Christmas. So this will be the Christmas um, video. People have been very, very interested in knowing whether or not you've had any luck finding any aircraft and you're still looking, but you haven't actually found anything at the moment. Uh, but you do keep your fingers crossed that you will eventually get something sorted out. Yeah. Um, I do very much appreciate all of my viewers. I, I have to say, I'm slightly disappointed that the numbers for the last two haven't made 1,000. I know we shouldn't be numbers. I know we shouldn't be working on numbers. But prior to that, every video I'd put out had been making well over 1,000 views. But I think perhaps that because I'm only doing once a month now, it doesn't get pushed by uh, YouTube quite as much. You yeah. know, they don't pr they don't promote it quite as much. Um, but, you know, I do appreciate everybody who views and everybody who leaves comments. Um, and, you know, we do have, between us, we do have a number of people that are very, very regular viewers and are interested in what, do what we're doing, which well, is I, really I, nice. I went back 
right through a load of yours through the last couple of weeks because I'm um, basically stuck indoors and that and uh, it, it was um, a, a lot of your your the, your people that that uh, uh, you know they they, they they look for it yeah and they they're quite often um, say that um, like you know things they've said things like um, oh very sorry to see that John's had an accident. Oh, oh, they're, they're very supportive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I very rarely, in fact, I don't think I've got anybody who's made a negative comment. I mean, the negative comments all came around when I put that one on about you having the accident in the signet, but that was only because they wanted to see a crash. But, you know, it wasn't about that. It was about the fact you did a really damn good job pancaking it on top of the hedge when you lost power when you did. Um, but a small... Um, a, a small milestone was the fact that during the week I had a message to say that I have just had 2,500 subscribers. Oh, right. It's taken me ages to get there and it's not really a matter of that, it's a matter of those people who want to watch, who watch and they like what they see um, and that's, that to me is the main thing. What's that? That's for 7 o'clock. Going along the current coastline. Yeah. Well, well below us. He's he's passing just under your spinner now. Okay. That could even be slodgy. Uh, nothing at the moment. It's going to come out there. Yeah, yeah. It's low. Yeah. Whatever it is is not on pilot aware. Strange. I can't see it. Yeah, I can't see it now. That might be dodgy. Yeah. Do, do a right and then a left round it. Because it's, it should come out that side unless he's seen us and he's going to try and bounce us. But if you swing, swing round the other way so that your wing dips. That, that, was, that was flying a long... That's strange, isn't it? Yeah. Because it was it just off the coast, wasn't it? Just off the... I don't know, I must admit, I've not, not actually seen it. Yeah, it came along here. Yeah. Uh, it must have cut across. There it goes. It's going into oh, Clacton. Clacton, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. That's a Cessna going into Clacton, I reckon. I've lost it again. It's coming, yeah. coming back yeah. this way. Yeah. Actually, if you look above that land there, there's quite a lot of mist. Yeah. See it? Yeah, there is. It's creeping in, isn't it? Yeah. we better go back. Yeah. Um, be happy when you've got the ch chance. Yeah. They're going right up. Uh, I, I don't know. I re don't reckon they're more than about 500 feet above the water now. No. If that. That's beautiful though, isn't it? it isn't is. it beautiful? Yeah. And also the creek pattern that we've got there, which is Hampford. Yep. I always like that. Um, I know I'm hogging the flying. I'm quite happy that if no, you want to... No, no, no. It's fine. Absolutely fine. This is quite amazing. You know, I wasn't it's supposed to be a fairly nil wind day, okay? On the yeah. ground, there's no nothing. Uh, I've got a true airspeed of 100 yeah. and a ground speed of 80. Not surprised. Contact one ahead, aerobatics. Well, <laughs> right slap bang in the front. You know, you said something going up and down. Yeah. I wonder if it's eggy. I can't see it actually. Come in at us right now. Right, how high? On the horizon or? Same height. Got it. Right, okay. Yeah. All done. Good sights. Is that a biplane? Uh, you, I wonder. Yeah, it's a biplane. Just give him a waggle so he knows you're there as yeah. well. 
Well, I have just put the landing light on and off. I bet he, he just climbs it up, rolls it. That's going down fast, that's going to go up and do something. Slow roll. That's not Alex, is it? Yeah, I think so. Right. We're going to have to pay it. There's his way. In it, no one. It's a lovely picture. Yeah. You know, it's, it's closing in and it's all a little bit foggy. I mean, or starting to be, not yet, but yeah. in a little while. You're starting to get the colours into the sky, and the sun there is amazing. Yeah. Uh, yeah look, we're about the same level with this, you, you can see with this uh, cloud here. Yeah. And, but it's it's really nice to see it. You can tell it's quite cold out there because I've had it fairly, you know, We've been chuntling on, either to climb or to get back quickly, and the temperature hasn't gone higher than 70. Right. The, the, um, see the runway a mile now. Oh, yeah. That that looked closer when we first started isn't as bad now. Because I was, as soon as I saw that the airfield wasn't covered in the mist, I felt slightly happier. Just making sure that that back camera is working. It will show. It'll show me regularly putting the carb heat in and out. That's a lovely, um, lovely lot of pink long there. Oh yeah, so sort of interesting. You've got a dark inversion there, and you follow it that way. And you've got a light inversion with dark above it. Mainland traffic, Golf Alpha Yankee Echo Hotel is in the overhead, mainland traffic. Uh, my RV, I'd have been a, um, right down about, I don't know, at, at, at what the height would be. Because you shoved the nose down in that. Yeah, it just accelerated, didn't it? Yep. And it, the irony of it is, I've never seen another one with the same colour. That blacky, Black. br browny, blacky colour. I've seen loads of different colours. Alright, air brake coming down. Yep. Mailing traffic, go for the Yankee Echo Hotel, final mailing traffic. Certainly pleased I'm not landing into that sun. Looks like Duncan and Rob are still out there. about to score the landing. going to happen now about the January update because I'm still waiting to move. We're boxed up um, and I'm really sort of fed up with solicitors who seem to be making life as complicated as they possibly can. So, uh, as I say, thank you very much everybody. If you like the video, then click the like. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe then please do. I do I'll just say, Happy Christmas.